Okay, in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a, a new product from botbuilder.co.uk, and that is the uh, serial servo board with 12 servo outputs, three switchable outputs, um, an onboard RAM for storing sequences. Okay, a brief overview of the board. Uh, you can insert uh, serial commands through RS232. You can also use TTL inputs. This could be another microprocessor such as an Arduino, etc. Um, here we have the 12 outputs for the servos. The three switchable outputs for things like motors, relays, LEDs, buzzers, whatever you want to control. Uh, the play button, this is uh, this will play back whatever's stored in the onboard RAM here. And also a play trigger. And this can be broken out to uh, any other input such as a switch, um, which is quite useful for um, say like um, exhibitions or or you know art installations where you want to have a, a programmed uh, sequence of movements and when a user presses the button or you know trips the switch or whatever it will play back whatever's stored in the RAM okay now there is some software available for this if you don't want to write any code now I should say that the uh, the protocol for this is extremely easy um, but I'll cover that later on um, these boards aren't back for manufacturing yet, this is a prototype, so we'll be using the development board, which is exactly the same, just a, a little bit messier, but it works in exactly the same way. Uh, also for this demo, I'm using two channels, A and B, to control a pan and tilt camera, and later on I'll be controlling a, a little two-wheeled robot uh, to show you the drive uh, functions. So, here's the software, gives you an overview of um, how to connect the board, we've got um, you know some outputs here a motor an LED and a buzzer this uh, the DC input that's six volts you've just got here the uh, an example of a play trigger that's a little micro switch um, RS232 input if you don't have um, old legacy com ports on your computer you can use USB to serial adapters and uh, here's an example of an Arduino connected via TTL so you can use the Arduino to talk to the board to control 12 servos and the outputs whilst using all the other features on the um, Arduino. It only uses the two pins, uh, which is, you know, transmit and receive. Okay, so let's uh, let's connect to the board and uh, see what it does. So you, it's simply you select your COM port, click connect. When it goes green, you're connected. So there it is, it's all connected up. Okay, now uh, the features in this software, you've got the 12 channel controller, which is all 12 channels with uh, the outputs. You've got the joystick control, which is um, it's basically six channels, so you've got three axes, um, and you've got three buttons which correspond to the outputs. You've got the mouse control, which is uh, basically move the mouse around and it will move the servos with the three outputs. Drive control, which basically lets you drive uh, 360 degree uh, rotation motors for um, you know wheeled robots and such. You can use the buttons, you can use the keyboard, or you can use a joystick for this and uh, I'll cover that later and here's the recorder which is basically uh, the sequencer which can capture any movements from any of the tabs and you can play them back or download them to the board so if we go to the 12 channel controller if I move channel A you can see it's for one axis there and channel B is for the other one and there it's moving the uh, image okay so as you move the uh, the servos it tracks the movement on this graph here and you can use that for for any of them because there's nothing connected to channel D but you get the idea uh, it's, it's got features where you can um, center quickly or if all of the servos are out you can hit center all and that will center them all okay you can also switch the outputs on and off so there we go so if I switch this one on and off you can see there and this one you can also load and save conf configuration because you can set your up and lower points so if I only want this servo to go that far and that far I can move it up as far as I want hit lock there and then down hit lock there and that will only move between those two okay choice to control there's a joystick or a joy pad. As I move the uh, thumb, it moves the camera. And also, we've got the, uh, the buttons as well. So I can turn them on and off just by pressing the buttons. 
and you can reverse all the channels so if, if you find it's going the wrong way you can just hit these and it will reverse them for you okay you can also lock the uh, position of the, the joystick so you press button 4 so if I want to turn it here press button 4 there we go it's locked now in that position you can see here gives you little targets for where it's locked press 4 to release there we go okay mouse control exactly the same principle you can um let me see if I, I've got to press a button here to, to do the output so if I point this down and just put that in front of there okay as I move the joystick I can move the camera and wherever I left the uh, the position when I let go of the button I get a little target and shows me where it was which is just there which is handy because I can go back here now I can go from that point up. Otherwise, if I let go there and move here, it will quickly slew over. Now, this is quite cool for pan and tilt, as I'm using here. And also, we've got the um, the outputs. So, on and off, on and off. There they go. Okay, now, <clears throat> I'll, I'll come to drive controller in a minute because I need to unplug this and plug in a little robot. But I'll just give you an example of the uh, recording features. So every, if I sent everything here, go to recorder. Right. Now, hit record. And I can go to any of these. Now I'll move this that way, that way, and up and down. Okay, let's hit stop. Now if I hit playback, there it goes. That's just copying well just playing back the movements I did and I say that's cool and I like that and I want to play this without having a computer plugged in I can hit download and that's downloading to the board okay so it should be done any second there we go I can hit test and that's playing back what's stored on the board okay now if I unplug the board from the seal so it's all it has is now power coming in if I hit the play button, which is this one here, there we go, it's playing back without a host computer. So that can be initiated from users pressing this button here, or then you know using the um, the play trigger. Okay, let me unplug this pan and tilt and get a, a little robot plugged in and I'll show you the drive controls. Okay, I've got the, um, the little bot plugged in, and we use the drive controls. Now it's as easy as clicking forward, and see backwards, right, and left. Okay, you can always use also use the keyboard. There we go. And also a joystick. So if I switch joystick on, you can also set which axes you want to use for forward, backwards, left and right. There's also a, a neat little function here which is the movement dead zone. So say your joystick is, when it's centered, it's still a bit jiggly and it wobbles around a lot. You can actually set it so it acts as a bit of a buffer. So it's only going to move when I'm out. I'm going to set it to maybe dead zone 9. So now when I push forward. Off it goes and back. And there we go. And that's about it. So as soon as I get these boards back from manufacturing I can stick on the little wireless adapter and I can have that all mounted on the bot and I'll have to have all these wires training if I get stuck under the wheels. Now, I've got some more demos of, of this board talking to um, uh, an iPhone or an iPod touch um, using the accelerometer and some on-screen um, buttons to control uh, the little robots. I think I've also got a, a Dalek which is working but I've got a demo of um, this little bot here being controlled by the iPhone so uh, check the other videos to see, see that in action.